Welcome to Jens Vibe Vibes. Welcome to A Love Violent Season 7, Episode 1 Review. Um, I would say, right, when I saw the first look, I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, yeah, they come in hot, 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 hot. They come in hot, hot, hot. But oh no. They were like, we're coming in cold, 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 cold. <laughs> That's how I felt. I felt like they were trying to relieve season three drama. Remember the whole uh, Montana and the other guy and the other girl? I don't know their names because I was not a fan of them. But I think their relationship actually went outside the house. They're married and they're happy. So that is good. I'm happy they found love. But during the show, I was not happy for them. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So I feel like that's what they're trying to relieve. I was expecting the girl to come tonight, but I do understand it's the first day. They need to, you know what I mean, give us you know, smiles and niceness and things that will not last. But I like Faye. I feel like she's going to be drama. Like, I like her for drama, not as a person. But I like her for the drama. I feel like she's going to bring it, bring it, bring it. And I cannot wait for her to bring it. I'm telling you, I feel like she's going to be so much drama. Because see how she gave, she shaded um, Aaron when he picked Shannon. She's like, oh, he, he called her number five. He cannot remember her name. But then when Brad picked her, he said, lady in blue. He could not remember your name either. Mm. But she didn't talk then though. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Because she was just pissed that he didn't pick her. So she had to throw shade. So I like her. I like her person. Because in reality show, we need drama. We do need drama. But the people then that I like us, I don't know. I think maybe because I'm a girl. I first of all pick girls that I like. Before maybe guys' personality will not make me like them. So for the girls that I like, I like... Uh, what's her name again? Liberty and Cats. I feel like they have good banter. I feel like they are ladies, they are, you know, they are girls, girl. I feel like they are happy. I I feel like I like the fact that the black cast has personality. Because sometimes, I know they've had some black people there that, that have personality. But I feel like sometimes they just pick a black person for the first person that didn't, that does, that is not an extrovert. She is an extrovert. She is like... That she's kind of like the life of the party, you know, that kind of person. But I also feel like the coupling, the only people that I see that might have a future is uh, what's their name, Jake and Liberty. Although Liberty likes Jake, but Jake is still not over the fact that Liberty stepped forward for Brad. So I feel like Jake is holding that against her. And you know, men have a very big ego. We are my ego. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm very vicious. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. Uh, guys have very big ego sometimes like especially when someone does something like that like oh you step out for me and then you move and then you step for another guy huh he's like no 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 girl not so fast i feel like he's not over that no matter how you want to see he's not over it so i feel like that's what he's holding against her it's not the fact that he didn't like her it's just the fact that he's not over the fact that my girl stepped forward for someone else that's why i think okay so apart from that, um, um, what's it? Toby and Cass. I feel like they're gonna be friends. They're gonna be good friends. I can see the banter. If their friendship turns to romantic relation, it's gonna be so good. But I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Like somehow, I'm even thinking, right? When it comes to love, like, although it's not gotten to that, I feel like because of Cass' personality, she's happy go lucky. She doesn't feel some kind of way, and she wasn't the only one that wasn't peaked so it was fine but i still feel like where do too hot to handle go get their cast what pond are they fishing at because too love to handle if you watch the new you see that melinda and uh, most of the guys were interested in her and they were two breeds and those two breeds were interested in her but then you see this whole love island i don't know where they get the people from like because even the show right i feel like from the beginning they were showing shannon like she's um a bombshell she's beautiful like very beautiful but cast is has the same body type like her like nice bomb tiny waist like so you know that's what i'm saying like they need to bring in people that 
like nowadays i think it's the kardashian standard of beauty that people see as beauty before it was like the blonde hair and blue eye nice the, no they need to bring in people that like see beauty for beauty not a particular you know what i mean i don't know i feel like sometimes they're bringing people that be making the black people feel the black girls feel some kind of way every time they have that one talking black girl that's why i really really liked season five even if uh, you want it wasn't picked but i still like season five yeah, I don't think she was picked, was she? I can't. I don't think she was. But I still like season five because there was a lot of diversity. There was Amber, there was Anna, and then I think that was why because of the diversity too. That would that would show you that because there was so much diversity, you can see that the guys, all of them, were all on Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Ah, uh, if that does not show you, they were all on Lucy, 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 as if Lucy was like. You know what I mean? At like the standard of beauty, like Lucy had nothing on you, and nothing on Amber, nothing on Anna, but they were all on her because she was like, you know, what I mean, she and um, oh god, I follow her on Twitter, but I cannot remember her name right now. I'll put it up there. Were the only two people they felt like they can pick from. So Lucy was not feeling like the most beautiful girl in the world. So it happens all the time. They always put in people that don't that that you know, what I mean, that I don't know that have a particular type of a particular type as attracted and then just put that those people and then they just put someone that you're not their type and then you're just there so you see that is you know then later on anyway they will mix it up but from the beginning maybe just give us something like if you're if you're doing diverse like i know they say that this is the most diverse no it's not the most diverse please be giving us season five diversity all the time we want that we want to normalize that now you give us one season and that season see how hot it was and then next time because mm, <laughs> you know so i really really to be honest this season i feel like it's going to be good because all the odd numbers are always good season one was better than season two season three was better than season four and season five is better than season six <laughs> yes i said that yes i said it <laughs> i said it yes season five was better than season six and i think season seven is better than the future season eight and season six obviously it's going better than season just season <laughs> so you guys better do it because that's what i've been noticing like throughout my i've been watching love island from the beginning and i feel like one season is always no i mean better and i feel like Faye is going to be like the olivia of season three she's gonna be like that she's gonna be drama and i cannot wait not not like the whole thing where you know gaslighting and all the other stuff that people say no she might be she's she's giving me a bit of olivia not, not mora but a bit of olivia that's what i feel and yeah all in all i feel like everything is going good i like the fact that they asked the guys to pick who is going to go for the girl? <laughs> and they're going to have to decide in front of the girls. This is drama. It makes me happy. I'm not lying. This makes me so happy. This is so much drama. I can't wait to see just that part. You know what I mean? Like, who would say? Because they're all acting like they're fine where they are. Except the other two guys that didn't pick anybody. But so I'm going to see who is actually going to go. And would the guys just choose someone? Or would they all be debating? That they want to go and i feel like to be honest i don't know the new girl coming in but i feel like shannon should have been the except i don't know she doesn't really have that much personality so to be honest you need someone that has personality so it's good she came original because if she had personality to to with her beauty then i feel like she is more beautiful than the girl that's coming in so she should have been the bombshell coming in you know to take their man <laughs> okay that will be it for today don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you in some time bye bye